because we are doing the big van reveal, what the inside looks like. I've been wanting to film this video for so long and today is the day. Um, we're actually staying at a friend's farm right now. Um, they were so nice to let us stay here overnight last night and we're en route to Kansas City right now. So we figured it'd be a perfect time to show you guys what the inside looks like. So here we go. Okay, so we have these curtains here to kind of block out the door. So this is our living room. <laughs> just kidding. Um, we have the curtains here just to block out um, the window at night whenever we're sleeping and just to give us some privacy if like we're changing and stuff, nobody can see that, that window. Um, this right here is our closet where we keep all of our clothes and just like, as you see, it's like a bunch of miscellaneous things like vitamins, we have a steamer, um, first aid kit. And this right here is our toilet. But yeah, you just pull this out, lift the lid up, go to the bathroom whenever you need to go, which has been actually super handy because I have to pee like every five seconds. But yeah, we just decided to make this closet to give us some room to hang up all of our clothes, like some of our nicer clothes, or if we want like a rain jacket to get to quicker. So yeah, love this closet. So if you move in here, this is our countertop and we just um, actually have running water. So if you just, you have to open up this guy right here. And then down below here, we have a foot pump that you just push and water comes out. Yeah, so that's nice whenever we need to wash dishes and stuff. We just use the sink to wash dishes or sometimes even wash our hands. Down below here, I keep like all of our soap and these are our two five gallon buckets that um, hold the water. And then, so this is a fill and a receive bucket that we have and then it's all hooked up to the sink right there. Yeah, so we have a bucket full of water and basically whenever we pour stuff down the drain, it goes into this bucket right here and then we'll just dump it whenever we need to change it. But yeah, this is where we just keep some of our food, canned foods, um, soap, and like our uh, laundry detergent and stuff like that. And then in these right here, we just keep like our silverware, mitts, spatulas, stuff like that. In this drawer, we just keep like our plates, coffee, mugs, measuring cups. And this last one down here, we keep our electric skillet, another cutting board, just a pot for us to boil water and our cast iron pan. We got these, um, these are two separate ones. So this is a cabinet and this is a cabinet. We bought these pre-made from Lowe's and then I just painted them white and um, we put this countertop on top, put some polyurethane on it. We didn't put any paint on it or anything, obviously. We just decided to go with some polyurethane. For the ceiling, we did shiplap, so we just got some plain natural wood shiplap. In between, right here, we just put these wood strips that we were able to just nail these in. You can see these little nails that we did. And everywhere you see a strip of nails is where the wood strips are that we were able to nail them into. I really like this curtain because it kind of hides some of this um, redneck insulation we got going on up here. <laughs> but over here, I'll show you guys. 
we actually inserted these lights up here. Or I'll just show you one of these. We inserted these lights up here and we're able to wire them all down here behind the ship lap. And on this remote, you just push on. So um, what's cool about it is you can adjust the Kelvin. So I can make it super or super cold light or I can adjust the Kelvin down to like a warmer light. And then I can even adjust the brightness so it gets really dim. But then if I want it brighter, I can adjust the brightness. And then we just put some Velcro on the back of this and stick it right here at night. Oops. Yeah, stick it right there. So this fan, you can actually open. Oh shoot. You just pull down. Sorry. You can open and close it. So we'll close it, open it, turn it on right here. And it sucks out, but it also can push air in from the outside. I really like this RV fan because whenever I'm cooking, we're able to push, um, put it on the setting to suck out so that whenever I'm cooking, all the smoke and steam and everything will go out that ceiling fan and will not affect the inside at all. Here we have our table and chair system. This is where we eat our food and kind of just edit whatever we want to do if we just want to relax. So if you take this off, these actually have hinges on each one and you lift it up and then that's more storage for us. So that's where we, this bin is where we kind of keep all of our like stuff we need to grab often, whether it's like our overnight bag, toothbrushes, brushes, stuff like that. We were able to put a surge protector in and this just allows us to put um, more, plug more things in at once and then it leads back to our um, inverter back there which is powered by the solar panels. So we get free electricity which is really nice. So I'll show you guys how the table works. We have this chain right here. You just put it on the second loop up here on each one. That. So it hangs down. Then we unlock our table, which just has these hooks on here, just like the ones up here. We bring it down. And then you just put the chain on it like this. And then you're able to just squeeze back here. And we eat our food on this. And we just, we wanted it this height so we could like edit and it's not super low, not too high. Just perfect height. I love this setup because we're able to, whenever we're driving, we can just easily hook it back. Oh yeah, that was real graceful. But yeah, you get the gist. So next, we're trying to, <laughs> so next we're gonna talk about the bed. A memory foam mattress that we got off Amazon. It was around $150, $180, maybe $200. As you guys can probably guess, this van was not wide enough for us to get a regular size mattress. This is a full size mattress. Um, but we did have to cut it. As you guys saw in the move-in vlog, we had to cut it. So we just cut it right here and then we're able to slip it in. And then I used, uh, this is actually a queen size bedding, but we just tuck it under. Up here I have, oh my, my lavender. <laughs> here we just have um, more storage for food. I keep my spices, um, some bread, tea, coffee, bags, stuff like that. Miscellaneous again in this one. Up here, I just keep more, oh my goodness, more food, more like dry food mainly, chips, popcorn, stuff like that, um, rice. I think I've touched on everything except for this little hobbit door down here. I call it the hobbit door because it looks like something from the Shire, if you know what I mean. But you just unlock it, open it, and this is where we keep our fridge. So we are able to pull this fridge out and access things if we need to. But I love this fridge because it actually holds more than you think. It's pretty deep. So, um, and you can adjust the temperature how you like. We keep it around, it should be, we keep it around 33 degrees. Um, but this is also powered by the inverter and the inverter is powered by the solar panels. So again, free electricity for our refrigerator, which is really nice. Okay, so. I like to call the vibe of this van boho chic and um, I say that because I wanted a little bit of like a boho vibe but also not too hippie you know like not full-on hippie we want a little bit of like a chic vibe going on you know I got some of these little boho plant holders which are super cute I love these are like my favorite um, added some of these beads and I wanted a lot of greenery a lot of plants. Oh, yeah I didn't talk about these right here. I don't know if you can get those. I bought these off Etsy and I'll try to link her um, Page down below, 
But basically what it is is um, there's a heart in the sections or in the places where I'm from and where Jake's from. So there's one in Kansas City, one in St. Louis, and then you can see that they have little trails that lead to Wichita Falls, Texas, which is where we met and fell in love. And then there's another one in the state of Florida in um, the heart of Destin, a little trail that leads to there because that's where we were um, living for about a year, as you guys know. So I definitely want to add to this. Right now we only have three states, but um, wherever we land next is going to be the next um, heart in the state. So. so for the decor, I got a lot of this stuff off Amazon. Um, I got this little plant in Japan, so you can't, I can't link that down below, but I can link these down below. Found this little apron at a cute little antique shop in Florida before we left. Um, we got this little baggie off Amazon as well, and I have a couple more of these. These are gonna be nice whenever we go to like a market or something, and I can put food in there, groceries, fruits, vegetables. Um, this is our marriage certificate. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. I don't know, I haven't really talked about it um, on my channel yet, but Jake and I were married in Japan, Okinawa, Japan, and this is our marriage certificate, and I really love it. Um, I love it so much that I wanted it in the van, like I didn't want to put it in, sort in storage, so um, fit perfectly right there, so I just put it there. This little guy got this at the same antique shop that I got the apron. Pillows are from Walmart. Um, this rug is from World Market. I got that like a year or so ago, so I don't know if they still have it. But. Pillows and bedding are from Target. But yeah, all this shiplap and everything like that, um, ceiling and the walls. With the walls we went with like a white, it's called coastal white, like a beachy white. And then the top we just left it the um, natural wood color. I really liked that for like the boho chic um, theme. So yeah, we got all that from Lowe's. Mostly everything we used to build this van, we got from Lowe's. So for the floor, we framed it, insulated it, and then put linoleum over the wood. So what I really like about the floor is it was cheap and it's super light and it wasn't super time consuming. Whereas if you did like actual tiles or um, wood flooring, that would have taken forever because let me tell you, the shiplap was not fun to do. As you can see, she has lots of character and that's okay. I, you know, at first I was kind of frustrated about it, but I am, I'm past it now and I'm just like, you know what? She's got character and shiplap is not easy to do um, on anything. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, super cozy and actually pretty spacious in here. I can't, we got one of the bigger vans and I can't imagine living in a smaller one. Like I just, I can't even imagine it. It's just, can't fathom it because <laughs> we already feel crowded in this thing and it's one of the bigger ones so I'm really happy with it love how it turned out and um, I'll probably be adding more to it as we go on our travels but yeah okay so now I'm going to show you guys like where we keep all of our storage this is the back of the van so we also put curtains up back here for when we sleep at night it gives us more privacy we have two deep cycle batteries that are connected to our solar panels. So the solar panels are connected to the batteries and they power the batteries. Um, so it's kind of essential that we have sunlight because without sunlight, we have no electricity. Jumper cables that we um, use to power the battery sometimes with our car battery, which actually has been super helpful. So, and then we have, we keep our shoes in this bin, just like, um, comfy clothes in this bin, shirts, jeans, and Jake and I's clothes are combined in these things just to save space. So we decided to make it jeans, shirts, hangout clothes, shoes. Here we have all of our electronics so they're easily accessible. And then back there is just more storage. Um, you can see our fridge and everything like that. We did have an AC unit um, all set up, but that whole system is just a pain. And honestly, it's been pretty chilly the past couple nights that we've been sleeping in the van and we're going into like fall, these fall months that we really won't even need an AC unit, we're thinking. So I think we're gonna drop that off in Kansas City 
<laughs> so yeah guys that's pretty much it for the van tour but I really hope you guys have been liking um, the content so far it's gonna be switched up a little bit here pretty soon obviously we're going on this huge road trip but we are gonna be hitting um, a lot of cool places in the next few videos so but yeah if you guys like this video um, and you want to see more of it go ahead and subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up it really supports my channel and I appreciate it so much let me know where you guys are from in the comments down below and if you have any good spots for us to hit along the way um, let me know but yeah that's pretty much it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the whole van tour again if you guys want to see more in-depth videos of the van build you can go to his channel I'll link it down below right here he's gonna be posting more in-depth about how he did the van build but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video